It's like a breath of fresh air. Blue Beetle is an amazing movie. It's honestly a great watch. It's super fun. It's super amazing. Now, if you haven't went to go see it yet, please go see it. I highly recommend it. And it's honestly about time that we've gotten a good DC movie that has hit theaters. And Blue Beetle is that DC movie. <sighs> We're gonna have to get into the bad stuff, right? You know what this video is about. And if you're, you know, a constant viewer on this channel, you know we get into the stickies and the nasties. We get down to the nitty gritty. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's look at some numbers real quick. You know we do this every time before we get to it. 76% of the critics recommend that you go watch this film. Certified Fresh Tomato and 173 reviews already at the time of this recording. Now let's go on into the audience. 92% of the audience recommend that you go watch this film. Over 500 plus verified ratings. But we're not here to see all the good stuff, all right? 76%, that's really good to see. 92% is amazing to see. But there's the other side of the percentage. The 8% of the audience that just didn't like the film. And the 24%, if I'm not mistaken, I hope my math is right, of the critics don't like the film and that's exactly what we're going to discover right now let's start with the critics james berardinelli real views top critic right here blue beetle is emblematic of what the superhero movie has become in 2023 an overlong slog through well-worn tropes i hope i said this big word right damn top critic doesn't like it brian lowry cnn.com another top critic blue beetle tends to fare best in its smaller moments which merely reinforces the concept's limitations thanks in part to the sheer glut of similar fare driven by streaming joshua rivera polygon blue beetle is the latest blockbuster to trot out a tired old saw that turns corporate representation into a contract with the people being represented andre hereford metro weekly the plucky Latino superhero of DC's Blue Beetle gets all suited up with nowhere to go. Jeremy Johns. I just read a review from him. I just feel like I've seen this movie before. Where have you seen it? All right. It's brand new. Just came out. Justin Clark, Slant Magazine. Top critic. There's a lot of top critics. The film's greatest feat of superheroism is, I'm going to say his name is Zolo. I'm not going to try and butcher his last name. Zolo's ability to shine in spite of a script that gives him nothing but cold, stale leftovers to work with. I thought the script was good. You know, it was a fun movie. It gave like Spider-Man Homecoming-esque type of vibes, you know. It had its mix of funniness and it also was serious when it needed to be. The script was good. Another top critic, uh, Noah Berlansky, Chicago Reader. A guy standing and screaming at his own silly outfit is neither dramatic nor visually absorbing. Eh. Alicia Kiwin. This is a silly action adventure family comedy that feels like it belongs more on a kid network rather than the first superhero in the new DCEU lineup. Roger Moore. Movie Nation. As a movie, this isn't anything new as comic book adaptations go. Let's read one more review and I want to get into the audience. I love audience opinions. But let's get a good one of the critics. Soren Anderson, Seattle Times, another top critic. It's lightweight and overamped, diverting but ultimately forgettable. This is not a forgettable film. This is an amazing, amazing film. It's definitely a top five DC movie that we've gotten in the past 10 years. It arguably may be top three. That is enough of reading what the critics have to say. We've heard their opinions. Now it's time to move on into what the audience has to say about this film. This is my favorite part of doing these videos and I can't stress that enough. The audience does not hold back. All right, first page of the audience is pretty good. Everybody's got nice things to say so far. It's gonna be a while till I find one. Oh, here we go. We got two back-to-back -back ones right here. Scotty B. Wow, I've never walked out of a superhero movie in my life. This was the first and only time. 
It was so bad. Humor was insulting. Story was idiotic. Special effects were sea level at best and just a horrible movie. You walked out of like you walked out of this film, Scotty. That's that's crazy. This film was absolutely amazing, bro. Like the special effects were sea level. Um the special effects were better than the Flash. Uh, I don't want to butcher this guy's name, so I'm calling him Namor. Okay. A uh, Warner uh, Oh wait, this is a uh, <laughs> this is Spanish. Um there's no translation buttons. Christopher M, another another one in Spanish. I wish I could read. Actually, no. I was gonna Google translate it, but. Okay, this name is Fiza A. About halfway through, I just found this to be a slog and incredibly generic, even for a superhero flick. Somebody without a name, so they wanna remain anonymous. This movie is literally Ant-Man. It's good, but not original at all. Bill S. Derivative and boring. It was like watching Shazam, but worse. Sheesh. I hope this isn't the true start of Guns DCU. If so, this this is going to be a painful reboot for DC. Nah, this is actually probably a really good start for uh, James Gunn's universe. If this is the the first movie, technically, for his universe. I know he keeps saying that Superman is, but we'll see. Carlos G. I was happy that finally Latin Americans get a superhero to represent us. When I went to watch this movie and realized it was full of cliches, the characters have no chemistry between each other, and the movie feels like they put some pieces into it, but they quite don't fit. Sorry you feel that way, man. Bonita. I think the movie was horrible. It dragged on, the acting was bad, and the storyline was boring. I wanted to get up and leave the whole movie. Leo 8-Ball Pool. It's going to be Warner's biggest loss. Rotten Tomatoes is losing their credibility with these funded and ridiculously fake notes. You really can't say that when, you know, the audience score is a 92. Now, the critic score is way separate from the audience score. So if the audience is messing with it, I feel I feel like the audience score is what truly matters. What the critics think, you know, the critics can think what they think. 92% of the audience recommend that you go watch this film. Dimitri G. Storyline and characters were weak. Fight scenes were okay. Now, the fight scenes were pretty fire. I wish there was, you know, a little bit more intense combat because you know that blue beetle suit is ridiculous shashika r okay dcu sucks too rob v the plot was very predictable 4dx made it a bit better wow you spent money on 4dx like i've never spent money on that we'll read one more review Slavikia, I don't know how to say your name. The movie sucks ass. Weak as character. The movie was a waste of my time that I will never get back. That pretty much wraps it up right there. If you made it to the end of the video and you want to see more, you know, videos like this, go ahead and check it out. Go to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications. Links down in the description for all the other bad review movies that I have done. Leave a like on this video because it helps out so much. And thank you for watching.